What up, y'all? Stay safe Sundays. September such and such. What's good? Found this beat right here. And now I'm doing my thing on the freeway. Making a say with a say. I was thinking about Young and May the other day. Think she got a new video. The beat was so cold on Funk Flex. I don't know what it's called. I did a quick Google search, came up with this shit, and now I'm not on reverse or in B mode. The Prius got like three holes, air. I don't know what the nozzle does. Is it a screw cap? Can you put uh, some pressure on it? Some pressure on me? The coins was down, the coin is up, and my portfolio was like C plus plus. I'm programming my life so I can just get the much as I can from my own land I'm a powerful being you understand I'm sick of hiding my light under a bushel it's time to let that bitch out and glow fuck you anybody trying to tell me that I gotta pay my city more than SCE for my energy it's solar panels on my roof but still like yo extra every year that's not cool it's not cool but I make enough money that I'm not no fool Financial literacy, you gotta have the roadmap to be on your way to your destination, saving streets and income. Fuck that inflation. Yeah. Precious metals, stocks, options, bonds. Carry on, carry on. In your luggage, just help and carry state. What you gonna do? No dragas. D no, senor. I got enough dinero to get across the border for sure, for sure. Almost to the destination. This is going to be a quick one. Celebration. Yeah. Archery. Bow and arrow. Oh, shoot. I still owe myself about 10, 24, uh, 14 pull-ups. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I got my uh, my cash app uh, card today. That was exciting. Or was it yesterday? I don't remember. Uh, But y'all know I've been going hard in the paint. You know about my credit skills, right? I can teach y'all what I learned. And we can all be great. Now, some of the tricks and tips that I learned are a bit outdated because I've kept rep. Nah. And they're not... um, I get it. Financial institutions. I get it. Uh, it's a lot of fuck shit going on, to use a specific term of art. And you may be less inclined to lend. But your boy got an 818 FICO score, so you kind of got no choice. So I'm building my credit. I'm extending my credit. I'm leveraging my credit. I'm going to be in a position to win. It's time to stock up for the winter so you can use your paper money dollars. You can use your credits. Non-perishables. Stock them up. Um, Do what you want to do with your toilet paper and things. Um, You know, immune system, right? Strength. Strength. You won't be strong, drama chapstick. You won't be strong. Can you dig it? I'll be strong. So with that being said, on Friday I faced my fears. Saturday I tried to support a small business. I missed it. I missed it again today because of holiday. I don't even know if I can support them tomorrow, but I will. I won't let that opportunity pass. And today, namaste, stay sane Sundays. And oh boy, did I. Got to spend time with family. Got to spend time with friends. Got to make a little money, do a quick little consultation remotely, did some research, um, did some teaching, right? I got some people into um, their first stocks and their first crypto. Not first, but first on a certain platform. So that's awesome. I feel like I've had a great day. Uh, Wife made um, a beautiful brunch that was just incredible. And, um, and then, yeah, man, this, everything is happening like it's supposed to. Let's see if I can, um, knock out a couple bars for you real fast. 
feel like the frenetic, the frenetic energy from that full moon, it was, it was pretty rough. And I'm, and I'm glad to be, um, glad to be done with that. Um, let's see. Remember this beat? I'm sending this to a friend who I think is going to tear it up. Yeah. Shout out to Young M.A. Because she handled this beat. Uh, excuse me. Oh, my gosh. I'm gassy. Yeah. The hand of the beat, just like the handlebars, or you handle a fire, you're on your knee. There's so much safety questions I knew of four. I guess there's six now. California is in a great depression. They just depress, so most of them don't need a weapon, especially if you win a high-density situation apartment building or got a evacuation notice rolling black out is hot as hell 110 degrees it's all cool to trees so what treat it like it's always loaded and never pointed at something unless you're willing to destroy it um always consider your target be aware of what's around behind it um um Um, what else? What else? What else? Never put your finger on the trigger unless you're too willing, ready to destroy, deploy, around, around. Don't be a decoy. Home defense, hunting. Is that it? Collecting? Firearm safety. <laughs> now, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. I grew up in a um, gun free household, no firearms. Um, also, no alcohol, very uh, religious. And um, guns were a no no. Um, a lot of my extended family, same way. Guns are a no-no. Now, for the average liberal-minded individual who is either anti-gun or just not pro-gun, that lives in a densely populated area, peace be unto you. Um, if I lived in a densely populated area, in a large apartment building, etc., I don't know that I would want need a firearm um living in a say a um rural area like a large property farmhouse it seems it would be unwise to not have a firearm hashtag context matters right um and uh yeah i guess the advice that i can give to someone who is either new to firearms or considering firearms, I would say don't skip steps, go in order, take the safety class, learn, go out with people that know more, that know better than you. Um, you got to be comfortable, you got to be safe, you got to be, you know what I mean, it's like having a car, you can't be so, if you're defensive driving to the point that it is dangerous, you might need to be a little more assertive, a little more aggressive. And I would say with firearms, you got to be decisive, right? When I, when I say decisive, I mean being too, like, scared of it or loose with it. You need to, you know, this is just a layman talking. This is a, a civilian talking, but you need to have confidence in your, in your grip, confidence in, just like your car, Knowing what it can do and knowing what you can do with it and having the utmost respect for it as a tool, a tool of uh, safety, a tool of self-defense, a tool of hunting, a tool of uh, marksmanship, um, all these things that it is used for, can be used for, 
Um, you know what? I need to go back and read the exact language of the Second Amendment um, because, you know, I think that I have a kind of a, I don't know, maybe a, a not, not super common, um, not super common idea or, or, or thoughts and feelings about it. You know what I mean? Because uh, I feel like I support the Second Amendment. I feel like common sense uh, restrictions and regulations, unlike what California has done and is doing, um, yeah, and the way everything is being politicized now, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse, Jacob Blake, uh, Philando Castillo, oh, this was interesting, I'm not a huge Ben Shapiro fan, but I do enjoy his um, steadfast intellectual integrity as I see it. I don't see him as a waffler. He made a comment about all of the police killings of black people in recent memory. And I believe he said something to the effect of the Philando Castile murder was the only one that he saw to be cut and dry. I don't have any questions. There's no justification to be had. He was murdered by an officer in his car, law-abiding citizen, right? And then, according to Ben Shapiro, all of the ones that has happened since then, there is at least some measure of room for argument. I'll, I'll put it like that. These are his words, mind you. So I thought, what I thought was interesting about that was, as passionate as I am about... Um, being opposed to the overreach and the abuse of power, the abuse of authority, the abuse of the immunity of law enforcement um, when it comes to using force, you know, deadly or otherwise. I have a very strong feeling about that, but I would like to have a, a productive discussion and not just, not just platitudes. So I did an episode about Philando Castile on my previous podcast, the Morgan Freelance Podcast, which is still available on iTunes. I've linked it before. I'll link it again. Um, I just thought that was interesting that me and, and Ben Shapiro kind of saw eye to eye on that as the one that, hey, this is cut and dry. No, 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 no. You murdered, you, you murdered the homie. Don't do that. Uh, so that got dark, sorry. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to encourage everyone to stay sane, or whatever that is. Get your exercise in, get your family time in. Tomorrow's Labor Day, you know, have some barbecue plans. Um, you know, go out if you got, if you got, if you got guns, firearms, you want to go do some target shooting, you know, do that. If you got a bow and arrow, you want to do some archery, you know what I'm saying, do that. Um, just do something physical to get your blood pumping and get your, get your body going so that way your mind can be sharp. Right. And like we say every time, family, give your body the things it needs to fight the disease. Check the link. The links in the description below. Support, support, support. Learn something. Shoot me a message. Shoot me a comment. And we'll be in touch tomorrow. Peace, family.